It's Welcome fun. back to the channel, everybody. So what are we doing? I'm repairing the TCA 6115 caboose. And what I was talking about repairing it is it shows up in the video of the trains running, but it came in the uh, parts or restoration box, and it did not have a roof on it here. So I took some styrene, and... Uh, I made a roof to go on it, and then I took some extra styrene to make the catwalks. Since this thing was a convention car, I don't want to alter it too much. Uh, not because of the fact that it's a convention car, but there is some maybe historical value in some sense or a collector's value so well, why not you know even though now that since I've had to do this up here and I don't want the light shining all the way through the body uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the roof and this gray because uh, that's what I, I have right now is gray uh, gray gray and I will use a rust oil with that, but I hand brush it on and then come back they with brown, they yeah, brown across the catwalks so that they kind of a little bit, eh, kind of blend in a little bit if you want to call it that. Um, this one? Yeah, kind of like that one. Uh, it does like little touch ups of, you know, here and there. Uh, on the inside, I'm going to paint the inside a Hunter Green from Rust-Oleum. I'm going to hand paint it. And then I also have the Leather Brown from Rust-Oleum. So I've got some paints. I'll try to use them up Two? so they don't go bad. Two bowels now. And this is the, the gray. Uh, Gunmetal gray is what Rust-Oleum used to call it. And believe it or not, I used this when I painted my saddlebags on my Indian before I went up to oil field. And uh, it has still lasted those saddlebags very well. Little chips and stuff like that, but look at the miles. The bike's got almost 20,000 miles on since I put those on. So 20,000 miles is still holding up. Can't go wrong. Let's give this a try. My kids think I'm crazy, but that's okay. I enjoy doing these videos. Uh, I enjoy doing it just because I can. Yeah? Hi. You can say hi to everybody. What? You can say hi. Not just to look at them like they're crazy. We have two rings or boxes. And what boom? It's a fake green rock. So, but it was it was a little bit faster. It is uh, not that uh, not fake green that much. Okay, hold on. I have to. I gotta do this a different way here. So let's go to the glasses. Do this. No. Put this over here so I can get it messed up. Why do you have to pitch it like that? Well, I'll make sure the pig, because for some reason the pig didn't do what I wanted it to do. So. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's from you being in the pool too much yesterday. No, in the hot tub. The, oh, you did that in the hot tub? Yeah. I thought you did that in the, the pool. Anyhow. Hey, it hurts. It too hurts. It too hurts. It piss away. Such a bit is. Hey, go get me two paper towels from over there. By the stove. This may take a couple of coats uh, to do this, which I'm completely okay with. I should just bring me two. No. Just set, the, set those down off to the side somewhere. I need to Uh, you know what? While I'm doing this, because while we're doing painting, a little bit later today, I'm going to uh, do the Kiki Shero car, do the touch ups on it. That's a way to pull it out. <laughs> Sure, I'm being awful noisy today. Are we having a noisy moment? Hey. What? Are we having a noisy moment? No. You sure about that? Yes. Positive? Yes. Okay, you say so. <coughs> if you say so. The tape, put the tape up on there to stop it so it doesn't get down onto uh, the car body itself. And I want to keep that kind of protected. As weird as it sounds, as much repaints as I do and kit bashing and everybody's like, you're going to protect it? Nah. Some cars just get a little special special place in your heart. and Especially when it comes down to like collector's value and stuff like that. Like I said, I don't know how much of a value this thing has. Uh, but right now I'm just doing a repair on it to uh, get her looking nice. You know, does it got to be perfect? No. Because it came in a parts or repair box. So, you know, a little bit of work. No big deal. Rogue, don't do that. Not while I've got a paintbrush in my hand. I love you, son, but you don't do that. And my son, Rogue, he does have his own YouTube uh, page. He does some videos from time to time. But he does enjoy uh, being in the videos with Dad, so no big deal. You know, it's always a good hobby for father and son. This particular uh, caboose right here, I just could not find myself cutting it up to 
do much with it. Um, I really felt like this caboose just needed some extra love. Uh, you know, she's been on the rails already. And uh, even with being on the rails, it just, it shined. And uh, whoever put it in that parts of restoration box, kind of, uh, shall we say, Uh, missed a good opportunity, you know, missed a good opportunity to keep something that may have had some value. This is going to take several coats of paint, so. so when you first laid out Rust-Oleum, uh, unless you're doing it from a spray can, it can be very, uh, very time consuming. Just it just takes a little bit of it takes a little bit of time. There we go. And the next thing will be brown quartz. So I still got to finish doing all this. I got to let it yeah. flash off. No. No. And uh, once it flashes off, then it'll make things a little bit easier. Some of this stuff is already starting to flash off, so. The good thing about when you're doing this with rust only if you're hand brushing it, is that the flash off time seems to be faster than uh, if you were spraying it. I don't know how true that is, but it just seems like it.
like I said, got some work, little paints to do, but it kind of really brings it to life. But I'm going to wind up doing all this up here as well, and the ladder and the brown. And then I may come back with a light black. Uh, probably we'll use an acrylic paint, come back with a light black, black over it. Just kind of help weather it that part up a little bit. And then I'll do the handrails and stuff in gray. That's where it sounds. It almost sounds like a pacemaker train, don't it? And that's why that everybody seems to really like the pacemaker, but that's not what I'm going after. I promise. There y'all go. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, see y'all on the next video. I'm going to let this flash off, finish this up, and then we're going to be doing the inside of it in the green and uh, have this finished up today. And there'll be another completed project. Keep the shiny side up, rubber down. See y'all on the video. And as again, happy Father's Day.